In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make your page responsive in Bubble.io. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. In order to change the responsiveness settings for any page that you make through Bubble.io, all that you have to do is access the responsive tab. In here, you will be able to change how your elements react to changes in the display or in the page. So as you can see from the UI builder, after you are done adding everything that you wish to your page, go to the responsive tab and you will be able to tap on any element here and see other settings related to those elements. At the top, you will be able to choose how you want this page to be displayed. So they have some presets here, maybe according to certain popular displays. And you will notice that the elements on screen will change according to the size or the dimensions of the page. And when you click on any of them, like I mentioned, you have options related to appearance, layout, and conditional. And the first one, appearance, you will be able to change the actual design of the buttons or whatever it is that you are modifying. You can select individual ones or change all of them at once. I highly recommend that you take your own time to customize all of these and make sure they match up with the design on your page. You will also get detailed instructions over here related to the dimensions and distance of every single element on this page. Now, when you go over to the layout tab, this is how you can make your pages more responsive in Bubble.io. You have plenty of options when it comes to the types of these containers and how they align with other items in the page. So for example, I can align these containers all the way to the left, maybe at the middle or the top of the screen. I can allow them to be over here at the right side, evenly space them out, and I can change how they actually align to so the layout. I can have them fixed on a certain position. I can maybe, if I align them back over here, I'll be able to change them to align to parents so they will all be aligned to a certain element within this group. You can change them to row and column. These are the main ones available here and you can mess with them however you desire. As you can see on the options that they have for alignment, they mostly refer to alignment on the edges of the page, the middle of the page, and depending on how you align them, you will be able to have them interact with each other, making your page more responsive. So make sure that you go over for every single item in your bubble IO page, and you will be able to change aspects about all of them at once. Once you are done, everything will be adjusted on the fly, and you can even change the dimensions over here at the top to see how they react in real time. I hope I was able to help you on how to make page responsive in Bubble.io. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.